That's right, that. and you can also see a little bit of that fog to start off the morning. We've been talking about over the talking about that over the last several mornings, and this is yet another morning where we have encountered a bit of patchy morning fog in some spots, including around the downtown area. This also extends all the way through Coeur d'Alene, so if you're headed out for that morning commute, keep in mind it could take a couple extra minutes. People should be headed a little bit slower, so make sure to keep that in mind. Well, look at that. Headed into the next uh, several, uh, several hours. We've gotten things back. All right, here's what we got outside uh, for watches and warnings. Uh, Air stagnation advisory, the name of the game over the last about four days or so, continues through Friday now. It's been extended until noon on Friday. Everywhere in gray, seeing moderate to unhealthy air quality at times. Looks like a little bit of a wider look is continuing to keep us dry. A couple snow flurries off toward Montana, but generally the Northwest is going to be sticking with this trend of dry weather. And it has, it's actually been a quite notable amount of time that we've seen any wet weather weather. Uh, it's been 10 days and for us in the Northwest, late October, early November, all kind of the time where things start to pick up as far as wet weather goes and winter weather goes. Uh, but in turn, we have not seen that happen. We saw a lot of wet weather over the course of the month in October and now have stuck with 10 days straight of no measurable rain or snow. Looks like it will continue for another several days because we're only holding out at about a 10% chance of wet weather into the weekend. All right, so here's the departure from normal. Uh, one important thing to notice on here is you can very, very clearly see that jet stream as it passes right through about the center of Montana and the cutoff of where we see the warmer than normal temperatures and the colder than normal temperatures. So it's right between Montana State headed all the way down through uh, through about Colorado and you can see that the colder air is off toward the east side of it, the west side of it encountering the warmer air. That's where California, Nevada, Arizona all seen above normal temperatures everywhere else around Chicago, for example, around the Dakotas, very cold temperatures as opposed to anything else. So high temperatures headed into the afternoon today look like this. They are right around average, if not just above it. We've got 48 degrees for Spokane, 48 for Coeur d'Alene, 53 in Pullman this afternoon, 57 for Moses Lake and 55 for Lewiston. Future tracker looks a lot like nothing. <laughs> There's nothing too significant to it. Uh, we'll run this forward for you. This is all the way through 830 today. I'll run it through about the same time tomorrow. The only thing to note on here is just a little bit of cloud cover, nothing in terms of precipitation. So it's really nice to be sticking with this trend of dry weather. But as I mentioned, for those of you who have respiratory issues, well, you're probably not enjoying the haze, that blanket layer of haze that is still remains around us. And we're not going to see it change until we see any rain or snow come through. As far as the seven day forecast goes, we do build those temperatures, make their way back to the 50s for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, as of right now, it looks like any wet weather that we thought would come through on Saturday or Sunday is now only coming in at a 10% chance. I'm not confident enough to mark any of this as rain for any of those days. So I'm keeping it as cloud cover. Note the 10% probability of precipitation still keeps things pretty light, uh, but in general, we're headed towards uh, another several days of dry weather around the Northwest. 518 right now, we've got a quick break in store.